Get your bow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get your bow. Pearl. Pearl. No, no, no. 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 Come on. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Come on. My name's Gordon Kennedy, and I'm a metal sculptor. Although sculpture is a funny word, like, like I don't sculpt. I built. I don't know, there's something that turns me on about the fact that at the end of the day, here's something that I think is very cool. It didn't exist in the morning. It wasn't there last week. It didn't exist last year, and here it is. I need the rust, oxidation, nature's patina, whatever you like. It's not so much a fascination, it's just, I like, I like it when the steel realizes itself. This is stainless steel weld, and this is bronze over steel, and it rusted, and it rusted beautifully through. There's color in there, and there's design, and there's micro designs, and it's changing. And we're allowing nature to shape it a little. And it wants to shape it a little, and it wants it to happen. So rather to go to great lengths to prevent it, I say, let it. And it's a good, honest finish. That's what it wants to be, that's what it is. No, I like it. And that's, uh, it's Carol Shield. So this is the workshop. This is where the magic happens, if it happens at all. That and two good straight up cups of coffee get the heart going for the day. And there you go, you got a piece. For example, we could reach down here and find a piece of an old bed frame. Wouldn't it be interesting if that could talk? There's no such thing as junk. I put it out here to age because, again, I need the rust. There's often a lot of good stuff. This pile to the untrained eye may look like junk, but I mean, you know, I mean, right there, that Halloween's coming, that could be the Wicked Witch. You know, there's another piece, I don't know, cock comb from a rooster, some sort of thing. The way I do it is like, I just keep looking. I'll put a piece and I'll say, well, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. For some reason, it looks good there to me. It, it's just a feeling. It looks right to me there. It doesn't look right anywhere else. That's where it looks right. And when it looks right, it is right. This could be a start. This could be, you could go 100 feet high. Yeah, good job. Pearl. Oh, no, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on to the top. Pearl. When I first came here, I was coming in pretty well every day. I was having separation issues because <laughs> I'd been working on it steadily for six months and mentally for a year. And then it finally happened. It's probably the last project that the whole family had a touch in. March 2012 and July, she was gone. Cancer. She had more energy than, than anybody I've ever known. She was a bright, bright star and she burned bright. And then she went out. And I don't feel the universe is picking on me or anything. It's just when you watch the love of your life just disappear. Yes, perhaps I'll have to bail it out. I'm thinking, the w yeah, I will, okay. Oh, yeah. 
be coming pearly. I mean, Carol, Carol of all people would not want me to, to not do things. She would want me to keep going. So I have to do, I have to live. Making art, piece of cake. Getting into the frame of mind to make art, that's feckin' near impossible. The whole world seems to conspire to keep people from getting there. Life gets in the way, but if you can sort of push all that away and let yourself just get into it, if it's really from you and you're honest with it and everything, I think it'll be interesting. Here we are rowing on this estuary in North River. You know, we're having a great time and a good talk, and the dog's loving it. And doesn't that qualify as a miracle when you really think about it? You know, it's got to be a miracle. <laughs> I mean, of all, you know, of all the places, all the things, this is it. You know what? This isn't the dress rehearsal. If you want to do things, do it. You think you need to do something, do it. Don't wait because you're not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. It's made me realize that there's a lot of stuff you get bent out of shape about. You know what? It's nothing. It doesn't mean anything. It'll come, it'll go. It's not going to matter. What matters is life. Life matters. Live it.